Okay, so now that we know how to resolve forces, we're going to use them to add two vectors. And this is the way we're going to do it. I'm going to put a vector here. Looks like this is always my starting vector. 9.6. And the angle here is going to be, let's say, uh, 31 degrees. And then I'm going to have a vector like... Oh, no, I'm going to do that. That would be too difficult. I'm going to have a vector like this. This is longer, and it's 12.7. And the angle here is going to be 18 degrees. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to find the horizontal and the vertical component of this. And the horizontal and vertical component of this. I'm going to add the two horizontal components. And I'll get a total horizontal component. And then I'm going to add the two vertical components. And then I'll get a total vertical component. And then I'm going to add these together. So the building blocks we've got in the last video... And this is not going to be too difficult to do, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little table. And the table is going to look like this. Horizontal here, vertical here, and I'm going to, it's going to get a little big here, don't worry. Uh, this is the 9.6 vector. This is the 12.7 vector, okay? So the horizontal component of the 9.6 is first is a crush. So 9.6 cos... 31, which means the vertical is 9.6 sine 31, okay, because you're stretching. Okay? They can't both be cos, they have to be different. Don't forget, we mustn't forget these senses. That is positive to the right, negative to the left, positive up and negative down. Well, both of these are in this quadrant, so they're both positive. Horizontal, 12.7 cosine 18. And vertically, 12.7 sine 18. Now, whenever you do this, always check that these are different. If these are the same, you've got a problem. So now we've just got to do the calculations, four calculations. 9.6 cosine 31 is equal to 8.22880. Don't forget, carry as many sig figs as you can so that in the end it's accurate, times sine 31. Don't put three sig figs here, as many as you can get. 4.944365. 12.7 times cosine 18. Sorry about that. Time cosine 18 uh, is equal to 12.700. Zero, zero, sorry, it's at 0, 078. And then this one is 12.7 times sine 18, and that is 3.924516. All right. Now, to get the total horizontal, I'm going to add these two figures, and the total vertical, I'm just going to add these. So I'm going to use this symbol here, which means sum. I've got this 3.92 still on my calculator, plus 4.944. 365 equals 8, sorry, 8.86888, 8 unbelievable. The next one is 12.078 plus 8.22880 equals 20.30. 068. All right, so now I've got a vertical one here of 8.86, da, 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 whatever that is, and a horizontal one of 20.3068. And don't forget the sum of these two, just that. You've got to imagine putting that over here. So it's like that. They go along here and up here is the same as doing this. Now, this one is obviously just Pythagoras here. So I've got the 20.3, I square it. I add 8.86888 squared equals square root the answer, and I'm going to get 22.16. So three significance figures is 22.2. That's the magnitude of the vector. And this is the angle of the vector. Okay? So this is the angle of the vector here. So I'm just going to do tan to the minus 1, 8.86. So alpha tan alpha equals 8.86888 divided by 20.3068. Okay, so alpha equals 
8.86888 divided by 20.3068 equals shift tan. Answer, I'm going to get 23.4 degrees. So you've seen simple way to add two simple vectors. I'm going to do one more video where I'm adding two more complex vectors, but this is the way we do that. We break them down to the horizontal and vertical. We add the horizontals. We add the verticals. And then once we've got that, we add this. You can add any number of vectors doing this. It's pretty easy.